Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we are going to uh, paint the engine and get it prepared to install back into the frame again. And what I'm doing in this video is that I have sped up the, uh, the, the video to show you the entire process of, of me uh, painting the engine because I wanted to show you, you know, the, the whole uh, step, all the steps in, and how complicated it is to move this engine around once you've got it together and uh, to carry it outside and to paint it and so on. So I wanted to show you uh, every step in the entire process, but if I showed it in real time, it would just take way too long. So I'm kind of speeding the, the whole process up here during the time that I paint the engine and uh, bring it back in and get it ready to install on the frame. So um, sorry if that uh, is bothersome, but uh, anyway, let me know in the comments whether or not, you know, you like it this way or, or not. But anyway, uh, as you can see here, I've attached the engine to the engine hoist. And again, the process is pretty involved and it took me probably over an hour uh, to get it onto the hoist and brought outside and get it prepared so that I can actually start painting it. So um, I will let the video run here for a couple minutes and uh, you'll see. So once the engine is painted, I bring it back inside. And as you can see, I've got the two jack stands there on the lift. And as I explained in earlier videos, you can uh, uh, balance the engine right on top of the uh, jack stands at the crankshaft. And that's what I'm doing here.
Okay guys, so here is the completed engine, all nice and painted and beautiful. I mean, it turned out really nice. So as you can see, the paint just turned out beautiful. So now you can see what I mean when I said early on, because I had a couple of comments from people saying, uh, you know, why didn't I paint it a certain way or whatever? And uh, this is the reason, because when you're building the engine and you have greasy hands and you have, you know, situations where you're struggling with it uh, the engine gets dirty during the co you know during the build process so when you get it all prepared and 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 reshoot it at the very end this is what you end up with it's just absolutely beautiful and again I'm going to show a couple of pictures at this point of the engine before. And I think you'll agree that it's hard to believe that it's the same engine. And by the way, you can see what I mean about setting it on the jack stands. I mean, as you can see, there's only two of them balancing the engine at the crankshaft. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, the engine isn't going anywhere. You know, I mean, I'm wiggling it, and it's not going anywhere at all. All the weight is down at that point. So you can see where I have them set. So like I mentioned in my previous video, you know, these are old plugs and I can take these out of here and put the new ones in. And I don't care whether the paint got on them or not, but it protected the, uh, the spark plug hole from having paint go down there. So now I'll set the camera up and we'll uh, put the uh, frame, attach the frame to the engine. So that's going to be it for this video because I've run out of time and I'm not going to be able to attach the frame to the engine today, but I will be doing that here in the next day or two. I've got a couple things to prepare uh, before I do that. One of the things is that I uh, have to install the, uh, the valve cover with its gasket and so on because one of the motor mounts goes there just like that and you really should have the, uh, the valve cover permanently installed before you install these motor mounts. Now what I'll do is you install the motor mounts to the frame and then uh, actually I think this is the other way around but uh, it's this one here that goes there. Anyway you attach these to the frame and then, like I explained before, the frame lowers down in place, like that. So you have to have the valve cover installed permanently. A couple other things have to be installed uh, before the frame is actually mounted. One of the things is the center stand. 
And then also, um, I want to install the uh, triple tree in the, in the uh, steering neck so that when it's attached to the engine, then I can attach the, uh, the forks to it and get it to stand on its own. So anyway, uh, that'll be on the next video. But in the meantime, we got a lot done today. And uh, thank you for watching. And again, as always, please subscribe, like, and share. And those of you who have not subscribed, please do so uh, to get uh, post notifications of future videos. So I really appreciate the support of the channel. And again, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.